Hi, welcome to the Data Tech. So today we're going to discuss uh, how to install uh, notebooks for uh, MySQL. Okay, so that's our agenda of the video. So first of all, like you need Python for this, just go to this website, python.org slash downloads, and you have to download and install Python on your system. It could be Windows or Linux. You need uh, Python. And uh, I have already made a video of how to install MySQL in Windows and MySQL in Linux. You can find the uh, video link in the description box of this video. Fine. Now let's do uh, like how to configure uh, the already installed MySQL and uh, in Windows and Linux with respect to notebooks. How to do that? Okay. So first open your terminal. Okay. So just open your terminal. And then uh, the very first step is you have to create a directory. So let me just create a directory mkdir sql underscore notebook underscore one. Okay. So just create a directory. So I already uh, I'm, I'm running one notebook. So let me just kill that first. Okay, fine. So let me close it. Okay. So after you create the directory, so change your directory to this newly created directory by you. Okay. So then on the next, next thing that what you have to do is you have to just create a virtual environment okay python hyphen m space virtual environment and the name that you are giving is env okay just execute this okay so this will create a virtual environment so python so for this only we need python right so once this virtual environment is created you have to activate that virtual environment so let's wait for the virtual environment to be get created Okay, so the virtual environment is created. Now, the next thing is what you have to do is you have to activate that. So env is the one which we created slash script slash activate. So you can able to see here it entered into the environment that you created. Now, the next step is you have to just do this pip install iPhone iPhone upgrade pip for safe and side. Okay, just do it. Okay, so like the download and install, it's all been getting started. Now, the next thing what you have to execute is. Okay, uh, let me just clear the screen. Okay, pip install notebook. So this will take time. Okay, when you execute this, this will definitely take time. So just execute this and let's wait for some time. Okay, so the installation is completed. So the next thing is like we have to uh, install IPython SQL. So let me just clear the screen once again. Uh, okay, so pip install ipython sql. So uh, ipython sql that gives you a magic command uh, which uh, we used to execute in the notebook. At the end, I will show you because notebooks should not get confused of what we are actually typing, whether it's a sql or python or some other uh, query language, right? So if I just give sql as a magic command before you start any of the sql query, so notebook can understand, okay, this is something interacting with the database that got installed in this particular system. So for that, we are just installing this. Okay. So once this has been done, uh, the next, we have another package to install. I'll tell you once this is just get completed. So if you see in this installing collected packages, right, you have something called uh, pretty table. So this is actually prints the output of the table in an attractive ASCII format. Okay. Sometimes there is some problem with respect to the versions. Okay, so uh, what happens, right? When you just execute select star from the table, you may not see the output in the uh, notebooks. Okay, so just to adjust that, the next thing what I'm doing is you can see pip install a pretty table equal to 0 0.7.2. Always try to have this version. Okay, so if it is like uh, advanced version, then we are downgr downgrading it to 0 0.7.2 so that your uh, table format output, the ASCII format will be really works fine. Okay, so anyway, safe and side, we can install this. It's not about the install. Uh, if it is higher version is already there, it will down grow, downgrade. Or if it is a lower version already, it will upgrade. Okay, so the next thing is important. So this is MySQL. I just want to connect my notebook to my MySQL. So you have to install this connector called MySQL-connector-python. Okay, so that is the next installation that we have to do. So for this, you need to have MySQL already installed in your machine. So that's where I said uh, how to install MySQL in Windows and Linux. I have two separate videos. You can find them in the description box of this video. Now we are in the last step. So like uh, for installing, uh, so you have to start this Jupyter notebook. Let me clear the screen again. So Jupyter space notebook. Okay. If you just start this command, right? So it will deploy a web page uh, with a port number. Okay, so it, it all will be get printed here. That's a link that you have to use to get into the notebooks. Okay, let's wait for it. You see here, localhost, double eight, double eight. Uh, it's the IP address and the port number where your notebook has been getting started. 
So if you go back to your uh, command prompt, right, you can able to see this. Okay, 127.0.0.1 is nothing but the local host, colon, four eights, eight, 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 eight. Okay, fine. So we are in the notebook. Just click file, new notebook. Okay, so we are into the new notebook. So what is the first command that you have to execute is, so you have to execute this load underscore ext as SQL. And then you have to give where is your uh, MySQL is running and what is the username of MySQL. Here it is root. Password of MySQL is root. And which IP address it is running localhost and what is the databases test. So let me just connect to my MySQL in local which installed in my system in Windows. So I go for MySQL client. Okay, so the password is root. So this is something that you can give while installing. So in the installation video, I have explained how to change the password and username also. Okay, see, I'm just getting into my MySQL. Let me just show the list of databases that I do have. So I have so many databases, but I'm just connecting with a test database. So that's what you are seeing here, test. So just execute this. So if you click this button, right, uh, the play button, it will execute. Okay, right. So the kernel is going to be Python 3. So don't think that it should be MySQL. No, it's like both Python 3, the kernel is. So this uh, load command got executed. So before you run any SQL, right, you have to give this magic command. So this is where we install that IPython. Okay. Now you can give show databases. Okay. Let me run this. Okay. You can able to see now. So I'm I'm able to see what whatever I showed you in the terminal. So this is the MySQL client. So same thing I can able to see here, right? Okay. So now we have the list of databases, right? Now let me just run uh, show tables from the test. So you have to use that SQL magic command. So show tables. Okay. So these are the tables that is available within my uh, test DB. Okay. Let me just copy one table name, flight bookings. Okay. Let me just do a select star from flight bookings, right? I can able to see my data. That's all guys. So it's very easy. And the steps, whatever I showed you, it is there in my GitHub page. And I have shared the link in the description box of this video. You can get the steps over there. And thanks for watching. And if you really like this video, please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues. And I do a lot of big data engineering videos. I have 20 hours of uh, data engineering master course available in the my youtube channel and that link is also there in the description box of this video and my instagram page is the data tech dot and i do a lot of videos over there please do follow me there as well thanks for watching